pandemic, NCL produced a new ship called the NCL Prima. We had been on breakaway class ships before, so we were looking forward to giving this a try. Yeah, on those breakaway ships, you have the waterfront. And when we started looking at the design of the Prima, they have something called the Ocean Boulevard, which is essentially, at least what I looked at as, uh, just a, a larger, better waterfront. And now after two years, it has finally moved to Galveston, which is great because it's close by our home. Yeah, and all those things made us very excited until we actually started packing for this trip. We started doing some research and we looked on Cruise Critic and found that of the uh, cruiser reviews, the Prima has the lowest rating of any NCL ship with a 2.8. So are we going to be excited? Or are we going to have the tragedy that so many people have talked about on Cruise Critic? Uh, so we'll have to find out. So what we're going to do, we just parked here. Uh, we're going to go uh, take the shuttle and go to the terminal and, well, started our process through security. It took about 35 minutes to get through security and that was just checking your bags. But once we got through, we have a Latitudes Platinum. Um, it went really, really fast. Like we went to the check-in and it was that fast, maybe two minutes to take a picture of me and give us our new cards. And so from here, we are gonna go up the escalator and onto the ship. Jan, are you ready? Absolutely ready. Let's go. All right, so we're on board. Uh, uh, interesting, they don't actually bring us through the atrium, but though I think it's right up ahead here. One of the things about to getting onto a ship is going through the atrium. We did the uh, mustard drill already, which is very nice. The only thing that actually came good out of the pandemic is the, uh, the expedited mustard drill. So uh, we're going to uh, go get something to eat. And we've been sailing on NCL since uh, 2008 on the Spirit. And what we've learned was, is that the best place to uh, go eat uh, for lunch when you get on board is not the cafeteria because it tends to be pretty busy, but it actually is at the MDR. So we are going to Hudson's. the Hudson's, which is the main dining room here. We just got done with lunch at Hudson's and overall the space is really, really pretty. It's very modern, it's very sleek. Uh, the service is very quick, people are very friendly. My wedge salad was fantastic. And then we got to the mains, we both ordered cheeseburgers. Um, not so good, they're really, really hot. The french fries were decent, but for me, it tasted like a White Castle burger. And for Jan, who's never been to White Castle, says it tastes like a cafeteria burger, is that correct? Yeah, it absolutely, it's like a school cafeteria burger. It's just kind of an over process, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure it'll get better, we hope it get a little better. Uh, so uh, they made an announcement, we can go back to the rooms. So uh, we're gonna go see the rooms. All right, so we are in our cabin. We're in cabin 13196. Um, and I'll tell you what, we're really impressed with this uh, cabin. It has 231 square feet. It feels spacious, it's nice. Um, I like the uh, balcony. A couple things we kind of saw uh, that's good and bad. One is the good is uh, the bathroom is actually very, very nice and large. You have lots of storage all over. You have lots of good outlets. You have a nice chairs out on the balcony. They're actually cushioned, which is very nice. Uh, the only down I really really see about this room is there's really not a table. You have a very small table out on the balcony that you could be able to put maybe a uh, Kindle or a couple cocktails. And there isn't a, a table here inside the actual cabin. So room service would be a little difficult, but I think it's nice. Now remember, we always do a cabin tour. So you're gonna be able to find a cabin tour on our, our channel. All right, so we are gonna go start uh, looking around the ship. And we've just been told that uh, we're about ready to have the sail away party. So let's go. All right, so that was our room. Uh, so after seeing the room, what we've done is uh, we came back up uh, started walking around the ship and the first place we went to actually was indulged because uh, uh, we were a little bit uh, hungry and so uh, we had some pad thai and uh, that was decent. So what we found is, is there's lots of different food venues, but if you sit at a particular counter, so we sat at the noodles counter because there was no, that was ava available. Uh, you can't order from anything else off the menu. If you sit at a table, they have different iPads that gives you the entire um, range of food products that you can choose from. So 
we will probably sit down next time in one of the tables if we can ever get one. Yeah, see, the, the problem is, is it's very easy to be able to sit at one of the uh, the bar uh, tops at uh, each one of the venues and the indulge. It's a little more uh, difficult to what it seemed uh, to be able to get an actual table. So uh, after that, what we did is we're out here on the Ocean Boulevard. Uh, Ocean Boulevard, like I said earlier, is kind of like the waterfront uh, that you might have seen if you've been on an NCL breakaway ship uh, like the Escape or the Breakaway or the Ghetto. Away. Uh, just a lot larger. They have an infinity pool, uh, lots of loungers. Uh, looks like a really neat area. is one of those places that I absolutely love about a ship. Quite frankly, the atrium here, it reminds me of like a conference center. Uh, you know, it has kind of tiers of uh, balconies and sitting areas, and it's elegant, it's nice, but it's not that atrium that I'm used to on a ship. I'm not sure if I like it or not. So uh, we just came out of the uh, thermal spa. Uh, yeah, I think we always thought that the Viking Sky uh, had the nicest thermal spa. Uh, yeah, I, this one is really, really nice. Uh, fortunately, we have the thermal spa uh, pass, so uh, we're gonna be in there quite a bit. So we got a drink and uh, we're gonna go back to our room and unpack. After the sailway, we went up to our room and we unpacked. We had plenty of space and a lot of hangers to hang everything up, so that's all good. And now we are here in the Penrose Atrium. We're gonna do some uh, trivia and then we're gonna have a drink and then we're gonna go to dinner and have a nice night. Trivia was kind of a bust. It's too loud to hear in there. Um, the acoustics aren't very good and it's really crowded and just a little bit chaotic, so we we left. Yeah, just too loud, but we're gonna go get some dinner, so let's go. All right, so I just got done for the Commodore. Um, I th I'll tell you, the biggest problem was it was so loud and the food wasn't uh, all that great. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't all great. I mean, the scampi just wasn't. It was, it, was, it was just bland. Uh, some of the other dishes were decent. So um, we actually came up here to the indulge. the indulge, and oddly enough, it is so quiet here. Uh, it's uh, you know we actually uh, we were here for lunch earlier, uh, and it was hard to find a table. We had sat at a bar. Uh, we're sitting at a, a table here. We're looking around. There's several different tables here. So we're gonna go and have a after dinner snack. All right, so we have uh, about ready to finish our first full day on the NCL Prima. What do you think, Trace? Well, so far, the things I like, I love the spa so far, have not been in there um, outside of just doing the tour, but I think I'm really enjoy it. Uh, the things I don't like overall, it's very, very loud. So it, it's like we were in trivia, it was hard to hear. When we were at dinner, it was hard to hear. And ironically, the place that was quietest was the Indulge Food Hall. Which, which we was... thought was going to be the loudest. Right. So um, I'm, I'm a little bit mixed, so I'm not sure I'm on, in one camp or the other. I mean, again, I, I truly think that the thermal spa may go down as the, the best uh, thermal spa we've been on any ship. Um, we, I like the room. I, I really like the room. It has lots of storage. I, I, I really like it. There's a lot of things I like about it. Um, there's some things that I think that they could do better. Um, I do understand now why people say it's kind of a unique ship 
We still have uh, the rest of the week on here and uh, we're gonna have a room tour and we're gonna have a, a ship tour and a full review at the end of this. So do us a favor, go on and while, and while we're getting ready to do that, uh, go on and watch this video. And as always, keep on traveling.